The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. The very air that Pilate breathes, the voice with which he speaks in judgment, all his powers of perception and discrimination, choice, decision, all his years, his days and hours, his consciousness of self, his every sense are given by this prisoner, freely given. The man who stands there, making no defence, is God. His hands are tied, his heart is open, and he bears Pilate's heart in his and feels that crushing weight of wasted life. He lifts it up in silent love. He lifts and heals. He gives himself again with all his gifts into our hands. As Pilate turns away, a door swings open. This is Judgment Day. God of the accused and the accusing, who made the mouth, the ear and the heart of all in conflict, may we turn ourselves towards that which must be heard, because there we will hear your voice. Amen. The second station, Jesus is given his cross. He gives himself again with all his gifts, and now we give him something in return. He gave the earth that bears, the air that lifts, water to cleanse and cool, fire to burn, and from these elements he forged the iron. From strands of life he wove the growing wood, he made the stones that pave the roads of Zion. He saw it all, and saw that it was good. We took his iron to edge an axe's blade. We took the axe and laid it to the tree. We made a cross of all that he has made, and laid it on the one who made us free. Now he receives again and lifts on high the gifts he gave, and we have turned awry.
burdened God, who bore the weight of wood on torn shoulders. We pray for the torn and the burdened, that they may be held together by guts and goodness, because you were held together by guts and goodness. Amen. The Third Station Jesus Falls for the First Time He made the stones that pave the roads of Zion, and well he knows the path we make him tread. He met the devil as a roaring lion, and still refused to turn these stones to bread, choosing instead as love will always choose, this darker path into the heart of pain. And now he falls upon the stones that bruise the flesh, that break and scrape the tender skin. He and the earth he made were never closer. Divinity and dust come face to face. We flinch back from his Via Dolorosa, he sets his face like flint, and takes our place, staggers beneath the black weight of us all, and falls with us, that he might break our fall. God of the ground, whose body was like ours from dust, and who fell like we fall to the ground. May we find you on the ground when we fall. O oh, our falling, fallen brother, may we find you, so that we may inhabit our stories, ourselves. Amen. Station number four, Jesus meets his mother. This darker path into the heart of pain was also hers whose love enfolded him in flesh and wove him in her womb. Again the sword is piercing. She who cradled him and gentled and protected her young son must stand and watch the cruelty that mars her maiden making. Waves of pain that stun and sicken past across his face and hers as their eyes meet. Now she enfolds the world he loves in prayer. The mothers of the disappeared who know her pain. All bodies bowed and curled in desperation on this road of tears. All the grief stricken in their last despair are folded in the mantle of her prayer.
Mary, mother of failure, you met your son at the end, in a place beyond words, and must have felt faithless and empty and alone. We pray that we may have the grace to live with our own stories of failure, knowing that love can continue even when things end. Amen. The Fifth Station Simon of Cyrene Carries the Cross In desperation on this road of tears, bystanders and bypassers turn away. In others' pain we face our own worst fears, and turn our backs to keep those fears at bay. Unless we are compelled, as this man was, by force of arms or force of circumstance, to face and feel and carry someone's cross in love's full glare and not his backward glance. So Simon, no disciple, still fulfilled the calling, take the cross and follow me. By accident his life was stalled and stilled, becoming all he was compelled to be. Make me, like him, your pressed man and your priest, your Alta Christus, burdened and released. Simon of Cyrene, stranger from afar, you are a help to an unknown man. We pray for all who help, that their help may be helpful, that their kindness may be kind, because yours was, even though you knew you couldn't do enough. Amen. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Bystanders and bypassers turn away and wipe his image from their memory. She keeps her station. She is here to stay and stem the flow. She is the reliquary of his last look on her. The bloody sweat and salt tears of his love are soaking through the folds of her devotion and the wet folds of her handkerchief, like the dew of morning, like a softening rain of grace. Because she wiped the grime from off his skin and glimpsed the Godhead in his human face, whose hidden image we all bear within through all our veils and shrouds of daily pain. The face of God is shining once again.
Veronica, your story is doubted but valuable. You did what you could, even though it was very little. May we do the same, even when we doubt. Amen. The Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time Through all our veils and shrouds of daily pain, through our bruised bruises and reopened scars, he falls and stumbles with us, hurt again when we are hurt again. With us he bears the cruel repetitions of our cruelty, the beatings of already beaten men, the second rounds of torture, the futility of all unheeded pleading, every scream in vain. And by this fall he finds the fallen souls who passed a first but failed a second trial, the souls who thought their faith would hold them whole and found it only held them for a while. Be with us when the road is twice as long as we can bear, by weakness make us strong. God of the Fall. You felt the fall when your body fell to the ground a second time. Gather all who fall. Gather all our fallings. Gather the voices. Gather the breath that's forced from our bodies. Because falling, too, has a story. Amen. The Eighth Station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. He falls and stumbles with us, hurt again. But still he holds the road and looks in love on all of us who look on him, our pain as close to him as his. These women move compassion in him as he does in them. He asks us both to weep and not to weep. Women of Gaza and Jerusalem Women of every nation, where the deep wounds of memory divide the land and lives of all your children. Where the minds of all our wars are sown. Afghanistan, Iraq, the Côte d'Ivoire. He reads the signs and weeps with you, and with you he will stay until the day he wipes your tears away.
women of Jerusalem, while you mourned, Jesus saw you and spoke to you, he in his sorrow seeing you in yours. May we see each other, even when we feel unseen, because when we see each other, we are seen ourselves. Amen. Station number nine. Jesus falls the third time. He weeps with you, and with you he will stay. When all your staying power has run out, you can't go on. You go on anyway. He stumbles just beside you when the doubt that always haunts you cuts you down at last, and takes away the hope that drove you on. This is the third fall, and it hurts the worst. This long descent through darkness to depression, from which there seems no rising and no will to rise, or breathe or bear your own heartbeat. Twice you survived, this third will surely kill, and you could almost wish for that defeat, except that in the cold hell where you freeze, you find your God beside you on his knees. Jesus of the dirt, you were led to death because of how you lived. Help us live like this, walking and falling and walking and falling, like you, in the ways of the living and the dead. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. You can't go on, you go on anyway. He goes with you, his cradle to your grave. Now is the time to loosen, cast away the useless weight of everything but love. For he began his letting go before, before the worlds for which he dies were made. Emptied himself, became one of the poor, to make you rich in him and unafraid. See as they strip the robe from off his back, they strip away your own defences too. Now you could lose it all and never lack, now you can see what naked love can do. Let go these bonds beneath whose weight you bow, his stripping strips you both for action now.
Jesus of the flesh. Naked you came from the womb, and naked you were made for the cross. What was designed for indignity and exposure, you held with dignity and defiance. May we do the same, because you needed it, because we need it. Amen. Station 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. See, as they strip the robe from off his back and spread his arms and nail them to the cross, the dark nails pierce him and the sky turns black and love is firmly fastened onto loss. But here a pure change happens. On this tree loss becomes gain. Death opens into birth. Here wounding heals and fastening makes free. Earth breathes in heaven. Heaven roots in earth. And here we see the length, the breadth, the height, where love and hatred meet and love stays true where sin meets grace and darkness turns to light. We see what love can bear and be and do. And here our Saviour calls us to his side. His love is free. His arms are open wide. Jesus of Nazareth, this cross was a torture. It only gives life because you made it hollow. Bring life to us, Jesus, especially when we are in the places of the dead, because you brought life even to the instruments of death. Amen. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. The dark nails pierce him and the sky turns black. We watch him as he labours to draw breath. He takes our breath away to give it back, return it to its birth through his slow death. We hear him struggle breathing through the pain, who once breathed out his spirit on the deep who formed us when he mixed the dust with rain and drew us into consciousness from sleep. His spirit and his life he breathes in all, mantles his world in his one atmosphere, and now he comes to breathe beneath the pool of our pollutions, draw our injured air to cleanse it and renew. His final breath breathes us and bears us through the gates of death.
Jesus of the imagination. You never grow old, always a young man, and most of us grow older than you did. When lives are cut short, the living question the meaning of living. May we live with meaning even when meaning fades, making meaning so that we have something to live for. Amen. Station 13. Jesus' body is taken down from the cross. His spirit and his life he breathes in all. Now, on this cross, his body breathes no more. Here at the centre everything is still, spent and emptied, open to the core. A quiet taking down, a prizing loose, a crossbeam lowered like a weighing scale, unmaking of each thing that had its use, a long withdrawing of each bloodied nail. This is ground zero, emptiness and space, with nothing left to say or think or do, but look unflinching on the sacred face that cannot move or change or look at you. Yet, in that prizing loose and letting be, he has unfastened you and set you free. Mary, mother of death, you held the corpse of your young son, the worst of fears, in your arms, as he went where we have not yet gone. We mark this with silence and art. May we also learn from fear, because fear won't save us from anything. Amen. Station number 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Here at the centre, everything is still. Before the stir and movement of our grief, which bears its pain with rhythm, ritual, beautiful, useless gestures of relief. So they anoint the skin that cannot feel, soothing his ruined flesh with tender care, kissing the wounds they know they cannot heal, with incense scenting only empty air. He blesses every love that weeps and grieves, and makes our grief the pangs of a new birth, the love that's poured in silence at old graves, renewing flowers, tending the bare earth, is never lost. In him all love is found, and sown with him a seed in the rich ground.
Jesus of the unexpected. For at least some of your life, this was not how we imagined its end. Yet even at the end, you kept steady in your conviction. Jesus, keep us steady. Jesus, keep us steady. Amen.